Thermodynamics refers to the way heat, temperature, and energy work with one another. And for metallic products, it guides how we manufacture, build, and install our building ventilation products. I've been in several shops around Texas where you know, especially during the summer that aren't ventilated and there's a st significant difference. You know, what's the, what's the old saying? It's, hey, it's 20 degrees cooler in the shade. Well, it might be 20 degrees cooler with some ventilation. And so it, it definitely helps uh, their performance and their morale, in my opinion, but also it just helps the, the work environment. You know, you're really moving out any toxins or anything they might be breathing in, as well as just, you know, creating a comfortable work environment. From the building accessories we design to the way they come together, if we don't work within the laws of thermodynamics, a building won't be able to breathe. Thermodynamics can best be explained by relating it to the ridge vent, a ventilator that sits on the peak of your metal building's roof. And the three key factors that determine how a ridge vent will perform are wind velocity, stack height, and temperature differential. The stack height is measured from the inlet, or where air enters the building, to the outlet where it exits. The greater the stack height, the more air will move through the ridge vent. Just like with the chimney on your home, the ridge vent is drawing air out of the building. The second component, wind velocity, refers to the speed of wind that is outside the building, blowing over the ridge vent. Just like an airplane wing, where low pressure above meets with higher pressure below to create lift, the lower pressure air above a ridge vent meets with higher pressure air in the building to force air up and out. The greater the wind speed, the more air a ridge vent will move. The final component, temperature differential, is the difference in temperature as measured at both the inlet and outlet. The greater the differential, the more air will move through the vent. Well, so we're the ventilation experts, right? I mean, so we do this all day, every day, so our customers don't have to. So if you're in the middle of bidding a project or specking a building out, give us a call, you know, based on your square footage, your stack height, you know, what's your, what does your intake look like? We can do those calculations for you for CFM or how often you want to rotate or cycle the air in your building per hour. And that's, that's what we like to help with. These three key factors working together cause the warmer, less dense air in the building to be forced to rise by the cooler, more dense air coming in, allowing the ventilator to draw out the warmer air to create more cool and comfortable conditions inside a building. At Metallic Products, we offer a range of ventilation solutions to suit your metal building's needs and design. I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to let the building breathe. You have to let Especially depending on what you're doing in the building, it's very important to let the you know, toxic air or hot and stale air out, but also you know, keeping the cool air in and keeping any debris out and rain out. So it's very important to uh, ventilate your building. Mm -hmm.